upcoming hunts, this weekend's results, and news from the field trial and dog hunting world. This is the Monday Highlights presented by the Hound's Tales Podcast. All right, everybody, welcome to the Monday Highlights. This is the weekend of October 13th through the 15th. Uh, definitely a weekend for the white dogs. Uh, the only two hunts that I have the information on, and I believe that we're going on this weekend, was the East Coast Masters and the Ogeechee Two-Day Derby. So we'll get right into it. Uh, we'll start with the Ogeechee Two-Day Derby at United Fox Pen in Swainsboro, Georgia. We'll start off with the bench show from, from that hunt. The best opposite sex was Bobby's Baby Doll. This dog's out of Bobby's Chase and Sykes Lil' J from Bobby Parker. Um, The best in show, uh, this dog was also ninth HGA, was Weaver's Jim Bean. This is out of Swamp Town Stump and Champion Victoria's Maybelline from Weaver Kennels. Then moving on to the field champion, this dog was also the combination winner for this hunt um, with 240 points, 240 HEA points. This dog is Bobby's White Mule out of Bobby's Chase and Sykes Lil' J from Bobby Parker. This dog was also the best mouth and classiest hound for this weekend as well. So congrats to him and uh, on your best opposite sex. And the field champion. So, congrats, Bobby. Uh, good buddy of ours. We enjoyed a lot of time down there at the uh, Maryland State with him. And been uh, been fortunate enough to be able to talk with him on the regular. And uh, he's actually going to be recording with us this week. And will be on the show Wednesday. Uh, we're going to go over some... <coughs> go over this weekend and talk about the... They'll get you two day derby, and uh, he's going to talk about some uh, traditional style hunting. I believe is what we're going to be angling towards. Uh, he's a he's got that old school style, and he likes the all around hound, not the not the speed demons, but he loves the, the loves the all around hounds. What he what he calls them. So y'all be sure to tune in Wednesday and check us out, and we'll have Bobby Parker on the show and get his uh, listen to what he's got to say. All right, moving on to the East Coast Masters. That was at Tar River Fox Preserve in Creedmoor, North Carolina. Big points hunt. Big points hunt. I did not get the information on the bench show, uh, so I do apologize for that. Um, But we'll move on to the field side of the hunt. The combination winner for the hunt was B&B's Viagra GT. This dog is out of Sire of the Year's B&B Chrome. And champion B&B's Camaro from B&B Kennels. This dog hit 2,340 points GTP for the weekend. Yes, that is right. I said 2,000 points. Um, moving on to the field champion. This dog's name is Bonds Lil Izzy. Out of champion Jet Pilot Ray and champion Bonds Isabella. Uh, out of Triple B Kennels. This dog was also your best mouth and classiest hound as well. Ended up with 2,864 GTP points. I don't know how much more you can ask for out of a hunt to almost get 3,000 GTP, but that that's absolutely rocking. I have not seen anything but good stuff talking. I wasn't there this weekend, but from everything that I've seen on Facebook and social media, the, the pen was absolutely jamming, and you can't ask for much better than that, so... But that's all I got as far as the results from this this weekend. Um, so we'll move on to the upcoming hunts. And we'll start off with the Top Gun 2023. That is November 8th to 11th at Triple B Fox, uh, Fox Pen in Wallace, North Carolina. Also, the American Invitational Running Hound Classic is December 1st through the 3rd at Tar River in Creedmoor. The Winter Classic 2-Day will be January 18th to the 20th of 2024 at Triple B Fox Pen in Wallace, North Carolina. The Southern Classic, um, and if you haven't got your money in for this one, I do know it's due and need to be sent in. So y'all be sure to get your checks in the mail or whatever you got to do to get it in. But like I said, the Southern Classic will be November 10th through the 12th at Pools Foxhound Preserve in Emporia, Virginia. 
And then we have the CNM three day. That will be November 30th through December 2nd at CNM Fox Preserve in Chadburn, North Carolina. Uh, also, another special note, real quick. Uh, I mentioned last week's Monday updates that the Central Arkansas FHA uh, that hunt has been canceled. That hunt has been canceled from what I've seen on Facebook. So that hunt is no longer happening. The Louisiana Open three day one class hunt will be November 2nd through the 5th at Joe's Branch Fox Pen in Enon, Louisiana. The PDFHA uh, will be November 8th through 11th at United Fox Pen in Swainsboro, Georgia. The Tar River Two-Day Derby will be November 3rd through the 5th at Tar River in Creedmoor, North Carolina. The Tennessee State FHA, FHA will be October 25th through the 28th at Triple B Fox Pen in Wallace, North Carolina. Uh, also, the Specialty Feeds 2023 World Cup will be December 27th through the 30th at Triple B Fox Pen in Wallace, North Carolina. Uh, also one I missed last week and I'll go ahead and put it on here this week is the 103rd Chase Futurity or the 129th National Fox Hunt. That will be October 28th through November the 4th in Granada, Mississippi. Um, and another one too, coming up this weekend, I met, failed to mention last week. Um, and these guys had hit me up a while back and asked me to share, uh, it's the Hounds, Hounds for Meredith Benefit Hunt. It is a four hour Derby speed and drive hunt at Hall Tree Fox Preserve coming up this Sunday, October 22nd at 20, uh, 2023. Uh, Brandon, and excuse me if I destroy your last name, but Brandon Legon, Legion, one or the other, um, and Evan Fleming uh, are putting this hunt on. It looks like it's for a good cause. Um, we'll try to get something down there to donate if I can't make it my own self. And we'll try to get down there to judge and help them guys out. Uh, but we're looking to maybe send something down there to donate for the hunt, uh, if at all possible. So y'all be sure to check those guys out. Uh, maybe they, if you can't make it for the hunt or if I'm not sure if they filled the book yet, but if you, if you don't have nothing to run, maybe you can get down there and, um, uh, at least judge and give them guys a hand. Um, but also I'd have another, a uh, little, little, point I want to make, uh, the Virginia Department of Wildlife, uh, the DOWR, uh, has, has a board meeting coming up on October 26th at 9 a.m. If you can be there in person, the address is 7870 Villa Park Drive, V-I-L-L-A Park Drive, um, Suite 400, <coughs> Suite 400, in Henrico, Virginia, 23228. Um, if you cannot make it there in person, you can also, and this is what I'm going to have to do because I, I got to work that day, but um, you can sign up to join online to speak as well. They have not posted the registration or the link for that yet. Um, and you can also submit comments. And again, they have not released that yet. So be on the lookout. You can either look on the DWZR page. Um, I want to try to share it on here. I'm on the email list now. So we'll try to share it on our Facebook. Um, you can also make sure you check out the Virginia Hunting Dog Alliance's page. They're very, very good about keeping everybody up to date as much as possible on that. So between those three ways, you ought to be able to keep up. And if, if you want to speak, um, and uh, what I will say just – put this out there. If you plan on speaking, please, please make sure you are punctual, make your point. And I'm going to try to say this without sounding terrible, but if you're not a good public speaker, maybe leave it to somebody else that is right now we need to fight and we need people that are good at speaking. I'm not the best at speaking in the world, but I'm going to try my best to, to speak. But if you do plan on speaking or writing in, keep your passion in check. Be passionate, but don't let it explode and don't let it get carried away. We have to be very smart about what we say and what we do. So just keep that in mind as you get ready to go into this, if that's what you're planning on doing. Um, also, I'm from Virginia, so I do follow the Virginia stuff a lot harder. So anybody that's out there from other states listening, if you have things that... that 
need to be brought to attention for listeners, then be sure to hit me up, message me, um, James Hudson, James Russell Hudson on Facebook, or you can message us on the website. Um, or my email is uh, houndstailspodcast at gmail.com. Any one of those ways, hit me up. I'd be glad, glad, glad to put it on the show or share it on Facebook or whatever I need to do. But like I said, I'm from Virginia, so I see the Virginia stuff first. So, but other than that, that's really all I have for this week. So I just want to thank everybody for listening again and look forward to this week's episode with Bobby Parker and the traditional style hound. Uh, With that, we will catch y'all on the next one. And like always, happy hunting.